What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we've completed, you know, looking around right here, Battle Resort. Yeah, that kind of stuff. And, uh, let's see, what else did we do? Yeah, we managed to get ourselves two new Pokemon, both in Sharpedo and Camelrope from two lovebirds. And, uh, well, in this episode right here, it's just going to be an instructive episode. Where to find, or how to get your second bike in the Hoenn region. So, it took us to get to the Battle Resort in order to make all of this happen, but there are three individuals that you need to go to in order to get yourself a second bike. It doesn't matter what it is. So, let's go right ahead and go to the first person, and they're going to be located around here into the Battle Resort. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, it's probably right here. You see, it gets, it gets so confusing because, you know, this thing turns around and all that stuff. So, the first person... Well... The main person that you need to find, if you've already talked to the other two individuals, is this guy. Talk to him. Hello, I'm traveling around the Hoenn region by bike. Do you have a bike too? Wow, that's a Rydell bike. It looks very cool. Maybe I should buy one too. So once you talk to that individual, if you haven't talked to anybody else, it probably will complete the whole cycle. Now, the next person that you're going to be going to or one of the two people I am going to show you real quick. So let me uh, let me go ahead and uh, fast forward right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So the next person on our list happens to be close by to Fortree City. Reason I'm going to Fortree City first is because it requires our acro bike. So what you need to do right here, guys, is I believe you need a Pokemon with. Uh, yeah, you do need a Pokemon with uh, what was it called? Waterfall. So. Let me go ahead and grab a Pokemon with Waterfall, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so we got a Pokemon that knows uh, Waterfall, and all we need to do now is go straight to where the Waterfall lies right here. And uh, let's go ahead and surf using our good old buddy uh, Leviathan, going back to its original home. Let's go use this Waterfall, finally! Now the funny thing about this is, guys, that you are going to be needing the Acro Bike, because you're going to be going through this little... Uh, picture right here and what you need to do is you need to reach a person that is right over there so let's go ahead and ride this bike get the heck out of here there we go and I think we need to go towards the second one right here I'm always wrong and bam bam okay and bam okay so if you go to this guy he's gonna be talking to you he's like nice jump so you can do you can do that kind of stuff with with a bike too. Huh. Well, that's all you need to do right there. Now, the third person, you're going to need the mock bike for. So, I'll be right back with you after I get that mock bike. Okay, guys. So, here we are in Route 111, and what you need to do now is uh not well, you can go through the uh you can go through the desert as a shortcut right here. Get yourself a mock bike, and what you need to do is go through this slope. The next thing that needs to happen is you need to find a scary girl around here. She's just going to be looking off to the distance. She's like, how did you manage to climb your way up here? Did you use a strange power like me? I wonder. You rode a mock bike up here? It wasn't some strange power. Do you think I could ride one too? That is true, yes. So there are, there are the three people that you need to find. The final thing that you need to do is you need to go back to Mauville. Now, it doesn't really matter in what order you do it, okay? More, more than likely, you're going to be getting the scary girl first, then the person close to Fortree City, and then after that, the Battle Resort guy. So, we're going to be going back to Mauville. Back to this uh, mall-looking kind of place. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be taking, uh, taking care of business right here by getting ourselves a second bike. Alrighty, okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Where are you? Where are you? There's the bike. Okay. So all we need to do now is go straight here. And what is going to happen is talk to this individual. It's like, oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you. Many people have come by my shop saying that they saw you riding a Rydell's bike. And here and there they want to buy, uh, buy a bike too. Thanks to you, my business is thriving. As a token of my appreciation, I'll give you another bike. And there you go, guys. We got ourselves a second bike. And may the wind always be on your back on your adventure. That is, well, I guess that's a pretty good uh, saying right there. But now we got two bikes. And, well, there has to be one well, one thing that I kind of want to take off the, the board for right now. 
And it looks like to me it might be one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, okay. It looks like the good rod is going to be a deselect because, yes, we're going to be needing both bikes. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but I am going to select this, uh, register this one. That way we can use both bikes. So now there is a place that is going to require both bikes into this whole little shindig. I don't know why I'm going there. But we will visit it pretty soon in maybe the next episode or so. Why am I doing that? Oh my god, I'm so confused. There you go. So yes, guys, stay tuned in the next episode. We are going to be going into another area and hopefully having a little bit of fun and a little more battles right there, here and there, and all that crud. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.